Exchange. What's up guys, your boy Russ again, back with another one. Uh, on this one, man, I'ma just go ahead and tell you guys, man, I ruined my car, man, and it wasn't me. Um, you know, things happen. Uh, a couple weeks ago, whatever, when I made that freeway takeover, uh, something hit the front of my vehicle. Uh, it kind of like melted onto the clear bra, so it damaged it. Uh, I'm about to take this thing down on my guy, Chase. Perfect Shine Auto Salon, I'll leave details below where it's located, um, and he's gonna square me away. Also, during the badge removal, we ended up scratching the car. So I gotta get both of these things fixed. You know, I cannot ride around with my car like that. It's a brand new car. Um, sometimes when you do things, man, you need to leave it to the professionals, even though you think you know what you're doing. Uh, you can end up ruining your car, man. I'm gonna show you guys the damage, but it's not really that serious, but to me it is. So right here, like I told you guys, something hit the front of the vehicle. And I believe it just sat on there and it like melted onto the clear, bro. Um, hopefully there's no damage underneath. Um, it's just this little piece that needs to be replaced. Just this piece right here. Thank God it wasn't nothing major. Now, I'm around to the side. Like I told you guys, the, the badges were too small. That's why I didn't put them on. That's one of the things that I was talking about. The other thing is, I don't know if you guys can see it. Right there. You see the surface scratches on the paint. So yeah, um, gonna have to get that buffed out. The other side is worse. I'm going go ahead and show you guys the other side. I don't know if you can see it, it's kinda dark. Um, what is that? It's right there. Right there. Come over here, see if this is better. Like, scratch right there. I know you guys can see it right there. Um, like I said, everything else turned out great. The front badge is great, the back badge is great. I have my windshield banner that needs to go on. So I'm gonna do that one of these weekends. Um, but I'm gonna ready to hop in, we get ready to head down to Chase's, uh, drop off the car, and hopefully we get this thing back tomorrow. But before we leave, you know I gotta get that cold start action. content and you know grow the channel and you know just have fun just show you guys my experiences um if you want uh the craziness and uh, the crazy burnouts and freaking chases and, and racing and all that i mean this probably ain't the right channel for you um i'm not saying i won't you know do a couple things here and there i'm definitely gonna take it to the track a couple times but um 
I mean, this is mainly a channel about my experience with the car. You know, maybe you're in the market for one. Maybe you got some ideas or you get ideas from me uh, what I'm doing to the car that you might want to do to your car. And it don't have to be just a Hellcat. It can be, you know, a 392. It could be an RT. It could be a V6. Who, who, who knows? Yeah, who, who really cares, man? A car is a car, man. You treat it like... Uh, uh, you, you put in what you get out with a car. So whether you're one of those people who just want to daily drive a car and don't really care about the car scene, I mean, that's you. But if you're a guy like me who loves to ride around in a nice car, you know, make sure it look right, um, performs right, all that, then this is the channel for you. Um, like I said, I just want to show you guys what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to be putting descriptions uh, down below of the places where I'm getting these things from. So if you want to, you guys can order the same. Um, and that's pretty much it, man. Like I, like I said, I'm not trying to hide anything or sugarcoat nothing. Like if something happens, you know, I'm gonna let you guys know. Um, and I'm gonna just be real, man. That's all I can be. Um, like I said, I love this car, man. I got a lot of things coming for this car. And when I say coming, I mean, it's already paid for and uh, it just, either in transit or it hasn't been shipped yet but I got some things coming man I got some heat you know what I mean just to give this car a better look um, appearance wise and everything um, I put up a post on IG about whether or not I should bag it or you know buy all the other things for it, you know like lights and, and wicker bills and things of that nature uh, the majority was to bag the car um, but I'm gonna be honest, man. Like $4,500 to bag your car, um, and I just got the car. Like that's a substantial chunk of money. Like you know what I mean? Um, not too many people got $4,500 in the tuck or, or whatever to just bag the car. Like as much as I would love to, um, that's probably gonna take a little bit of time before I bag it. But in the meantime, I am going to drop it on some springs. Um, and I hope when I buy uh, the scrape armor to go underneath the front part of my car, uh, it helps out with all the scraping and scratches I've seen on many different YouTubers, uh, vlogs, man. Some say positive things about the, the springs. Some say negative things. Some say it's, it's a great drop. Some say it's too much of a drop. Um, so I'm just gonna put the scrape arm on there. Um, a lot of the high-end cars use it, and I'm pretty sure that it'll do the job that I need in case, you know, I don't know, I'm going up a steep incline or a decline, and uh, I'm worried about scraping. So I can't wait for those to go on. Like I said, um, all the stuff I got, man, like I went with uh, the Mad Metrics um, floor mats again. Like how I had in B in the blue car. So this time I got the black with the purple stitching and with the purple uh, center section or the foot section where you actually put your feet on. Um, so that's gonna look great, I can't wait. Also, I got the lighting trends, uh, RGBW, uh, DRLs, halos. Um, I went with the demon eyes. Um, I'm not doing flow series, not this time on a vehicle. I'm just gonna do the RGBW. Um, I may do the flow series in the grill, the engine bay, and underglow. It seems like uh, those are better than put them in the DRLs. I want it to be exposed so it can be easily removed if something happens. I ain't gotta worry about somebody taking my headlights apart and all that again. So that's why I wanna go with the regular RGBWs. You know, they color shift, they change the solid colors, and they have a strobe mode. Um, and then I may do flow series everywhere else, but we'll see. Um, I already have the things, it's just about getting the install. Um, but one mod at a time, guys, we're gonna get there, I promise you. Um, I got, uh, what, what else I got? Um, Got the, the King Wraps, KNG Wraps, uh, Wicker Bill coming. I have the Spoiler Kings, uh, 
rear window spoiler coming. center caps on my wheels are getting changed to uh you know the plum crazy and i'm considering powder coating the wheels gloss black with uh a plum crazy purple uh barrel or not barrel um inner wheel well i mean not inner wheel well <laughs> in the inner part of the rim i was thinking about getting it powder coated uh plum crazy or painted plum crazy I don't know yet. I'm trying to think how that would look. I just want to do something to my stocks because they're like super plain Jane right now and they're that uh, satin black. Uh, my car is gloss, obviously. So that's why I want them gloss black. But that purple uh, inside the rim, I think that would look crazy. What do you guys think, man? Leave a comment below on that one. Um, just like I said, I want to add a little purple accents to the car. I'm not going to go crazy with the purple. Until I wrap it. When I wrap it, trust me, I already got the wrap picked out. Man, it, it, it's a crazy wrap. Um, and, and it's going to tie everything in. So, that's later on, though. That's not anytime soon. I'm going to enjoy the black for probably about a year or so. Um, but yeah. Uh, the other things. Oh, I got the new badges coming. They're gonna get powder coated for free. Um, thanks to Bell Red Auto Rebuild, you know, um, the great guys over there. So they're gonna paint them for free. I'm gonna have those installed when they install the Brembo vinyls. Um, and I think that's it, guys. I mean, like, like I said, I want to do all the little things first, and then later on down the line. About the big stuff as far as the rap uh, bags, if I go that route, but I'm not really that pressed to get bags. Um, to me, bags is like you just want to stunt all the time. You know, you pull up, you stunt, you air out. I get all that, um, but it serves no real purpose to me. It doesn't serve a real purpose or need. It's more just to show off uh, mod on your car and already did it like I, I had bags for I don't know almost a year when I had it on a uh, B the blue car the 392 so I'm not really that worried about it at this time um, but yeah like I said we're gonna take this thing uh, one month at a time we're gonna get there man uh, last thing man uh, I know with this whole coronavirus the whole corona pandemic man there's a lot of things going on for real, man, you just gotta stay positive. Like, I went out on a whim to get this car, and I was able to get it. You know what I mean? I just prayed about it. You know, uh, asked God just to help me. You know, uh, get this thing handled, man. Like, he knew I love my truck, but it just wasn't what I needed or wanted at the time. So he helped me get it, man. And I'm so thankful for it. Truly blessed, man, and you guys can do the same, man. Just pray about it, you know, and, and things, things are happening, man. Just speaking it into existence, it's, it goes a long way. So if you, I don't know, you want a new job, you want a new promotion, uh, just anything, you want to buy a house, anything, just pray about it, man, and I guarantee uh, he's going to get you there. It might not be when you want it to be, but you'll get there. Shoot, I waited almost two years. I had my last Hellcat. I think it was in, matter of fact, it was in June of 2018 when I had my Hellcat and uh, the deal got reversed. And then almost two years later, look at me now, I have a Hellcat. So you just never know, man. It, it, as long as you strive for something, you set goals, man, you'll achieve them. Um, there's a lot of things I would have done different, obviously, if I'd have did a few things different. I guarantee you I'd be in the track hawk right now. But, you know, you gotta learn. Life is a learning process, man. Like, everything we go through in life, we learn from it, and it's either you grow from it or you repeat the same thing, which is insanity. So, 
I try to learn from all of my mistakes that I made and, you know, just grow from there. Um, but that's my positive kick for the day. Uh, like I said, I'm on my way to drop this thing off. Uh, when we get there, you know, I'm going to hand over the keys and then I'll be on my way. Hopefully the car comes back tomorrow and we can go from there, guys. So if you're new to the channel, man, I implore you and I humbly ask you to please subscribe. I get a lot of visitors who just watch my vlogs and don't subscribe, man. Um, but thank you to my subscribers. We about 325, 326. Like we are on our way to 500. Um, you guys mean the world to me. You guys keep me motivated. You comment. I love it. Um, but all the people that just visit and just watch and don't subscribe, man. I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. You hit that like button. And turn on your notifications. Um, I guarantee I'm going to be bringing you guys good things, good content about the car and about other cars and other people that I interact with. So until the next one, guys, peace.